Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to wherever you are in the world. And today's adventure with Magnetic North Magnet Fishing is going to take us back to a spot I've been to before. Uh, the river levels have dropped somewhat. So I'm going to be fishing in an area in Derbyshire. So this is where the white water was previously and uh, just looking into the water I can see there is metal there's old pottery bits of glass and bottles so I'm going to start here and then move down a tiny bit this would be a perfect place for mudlarking off we go But there is definitely stuff in there and I can see stuff starting to attract to the magnet let's see what we've uh, got on this one there we go the scraps bits of metal just magnetic rock on that one so I do have both gloves with me uh, and I'll be putting my other glove on in a moment. So we've got on that one some wire and some nails. Oh, treed it. Just there. So I've clipped onto something substantially heavy over there, but my magnet's just released it. So only thing on that one is a, a bit of framework nail. So on this one, I've got something attached, that bit of tree. So on this one, so I've got a handle on that one. I've got some nails. I've got this chair leg, um, there's the bit of the wood inside, it's a metal casting bit. So on that one we've just had a, a bit of metal frame, old window frame and more magnetic rock. Both gloves are on and uh, I'm going to have a little cast at this section here so what's happened just now I wasn't watching what I were doing and uh, I've just caught this tree branch from the embankment it's starting to tangle my ropes up so I'm just going to have to sort that out move that back out the water and uh, I'll be good to go again so the water is nice and clear today so I can actually see quite a bit in the water on that one just lots of magnetic rock and a, a nail so do remember if at all possible to try and keep your magnet away from your electrical devices phones things like that uh, cameras because it, it can actually damage the sound quality and uh, at that point you gonna have to buy a new phone or camera that has happened to me before so on this one I just badly cast and uh, I've got an entanglement again so I'm just going to have to sort that out as well I might, no, today I'm just going to pull it and make a knot to undo when I get home. On this one, there is actually some sharp spikes. So always be careful when you bring in. There we go. Straight into the bag, magnetic rocks.
so I've got something on here it's trapped in the silt in the bottom just trying to free it up so let's have a look I've got magnetic rock got bits of iron just bits of iron plate crusty nails and something there um, an electrical switch fragment my magnet is actually loaded with items again what do we have here we've got wire nails and we've got this very old piece of cast which is an old bracket fragment it's just clipped onto something bigger so I'm just going to be nice and steady see if I can free it out of that fast water yep that's free and it, it's definitely coming into the shallow waters it's quite a big item it's uh yep we've got scaffold bar just here big piece of scaffold bar so i'd just like to say hello to all my uk viewers uh, and to america to germany to india uh, australia and uh, also my viewers over in russia as well and uh, wherever else you're viewing from thank you very much it's very much appreciated so on this one i've just got a piece of a metal bucket handle just here or sign and uh, another iron bar and some nail bits so on that one we've just got pipe fitting so the dogs that you can hear that's actually a, a nearby kennels so on this one we've just got this piece of metal plating that'll be having a look at that some bits of metal nondescript so always if you can Try to keep your magnet at least 60 centimetres away from uh, your equipment. That one, we've got old nails, bits of metal, and uh, a CO2 can. When I, I used to metal detect, I used to have this thing where if I found something that I didn't want to keep, but I was fed up of getting them, I used to put one in my finds box and uh, quite often for some reason I used to stop getting that item so uh, I'm going to put that CO2 can into my finds box as well and let's hope it works as well somehow I don't think it will worth a try this old cast mishmash and uh, that is just a lump of nothing but it's out the water I've just seen a bit of metal grid here so that'll come out because again that's often quite sharp barbecue material so there we are barbecue netting yes mate not at a minute, I've just had a butter knife and some scraps. Right. Uh, well, well, when we were kids, we used to throw all sorts of... I've just moved round a bit further to a spot I was at previously. Hopefully, this time, we'll get something interesting again. Now, as you can see, the, the water has picked up a bit in speed. So, it does make me think that rainwater... Is definitely entering and flood water from further up river. 
just scraps, magnetic rock, bits of nail, pry over that way. So just silt and a bit of bar on that one. I feel like I've just got something out there between rocks. Metal clasp, scraps, nail, big piece of pipe there. There we go. My favourite find from this particular area was the coal scrape that I had for the coal steam trains and uh, also that horseshoe that I had in a previous video. And uh, I do always like finding the old square head nails as well. Oh, I've got something here. Yep, I've definitely got what looks like a road sign holder. Nice. Glad it's out the water. So, as you can see, my rope is an absolute mess. I'm going to have to sort it out soon. It's just... I'm getting tangled left, right and centre. It's going to take a lot of work to undo all this. These things happen. I've just got pieces of iron. Bar. Uh, oh, very old iron there. Magnetic rock. I'll just move something. Yep, yeah, I've got that. Oh. Now then, <laughs> that is part of a very old bike frame. And bits of cast. Piece of iron bar. So that there is when you throw too far and you hit the other embankment straight in the entanglement. It's not a tree. You've bushwhacked it. Just bits of iron on that one. Hello everyone, sorry my phone died earlier so uh, I couldn't continue uh, recording the video so I'm going to say uh, a very late bye for now and thanks for watching.